sports, and I get to go into the career lab sometimes. It's a little different than in the school system where you have a coach kind of telling them this is how it's going to go. Um, they have to engage. They have to figure out who who is going to allow them to play a little bit more and it becomes very, very social and I like that aspect because I think in, in the real world, outside of this, outside of this age group, I think Reyes will have some, some fundamental leadership skills or social skills that, that, are, that he wouldn't have garnered necessarily through regular school interaction and, um, and daycare. I get to be at work and be comfortable knowing that they're in a safe place and they're, you know, with kids their age and able to be social and, you know, my work won't interfere with them having friends. You need to place your best bet on the potential that is available when you add the right investments and SA Youth is an investment in unlocking the potential for some of these uh, young students who are at risk for a number of different reasons, either because their environment is filled with more folks that have been incarcerated versus have gone to college or more more adult male role models uh, than they would find in their community or in their neighborhoods. SA Youth builds an environment and a community of support that provides a safe space for some of these kids to interact with, in, in the case of Mary Jane's uh, children, other boys for example, or in my case growing up, just a structured environment outside the class space. We live in a community that, I mean, we do have a very real issue with poverty. We have a very real issue with making sure that all of our children in this community are given an opportunity to grow and to prosper and to, and to be a productive part of society. And we've got to reach out and we have to help. And I think I see it because I feel, you know, especially now as a mother of, of two boys that the responsibility of helping raise our children goes beyond just ourselves as parents. We have to raise them as a community. They're there for you when you need them. They support you, they encourage you, they don't give up on you. They, like if, if you're misbehaving in school, they don't just, all right, it's your decision, whatever, go home. They don't just do that. They don't give up on you. They help you with a lot of different things. There's, there's a counselor there, but everybody's your counselor. What struck me about SA Youth was it's trying to get to that root cause. It's not just providing a place for kids to come do their homework after school, but really a development program and a, a set of skills that, that folks like Kenny can go off uh, and get a job after he gets his GED and, and, and really be a, a, a productive member of our, our community. Wouldn't it be great if we as a community could focus in on the problems while these kids are young? so that they are positioned to succeed in life, so they're positioned to do well in high school and go on to college, so that there would never be a need for a dropout recovery program in the first place. What a grand vision that it would be if we as a community could make that happen. And I think for SA Youth, that is ultimately a dream, is to strengthen what we're doing with younger kids and close that gap early on so that eventually there would be no need for dropout recovery programs. From the bottom of our hearts and from our board, our staff, and especially the kids at SAU, we want to say thank you to everybody who makes SAU possible. Thank you.